a saint is from the Hebrew word kodesh, or the Greek word hegio. It means one who is sanctified, one who was set apart by God, one of the people of God who have been set apart by him. Now, in New Testament terms, in terms of, 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 of New Testament Christianity, we are sanctified through the blood and resurrection of Jesus, of which the Holy Spirit is the pledge or the earnest of that sanctification, the spirit of holiness. It simply means the people of God being those who have been set apart by him. That is the plain and simple meaning. Set apart to his salvation. But there's other forms of sanctification, of, 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 of being made holy or set apart. But in the broad sense, the Kodesh, the uh, Kodeshim, the, the holy ones, or simply those who've been set apart by God, which the new covenant are regenerate believers. Thank you for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, Jacob, uh, oh, so let's go back. Yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, yeah. I, I think it might be good to cover why, how Catholics. Yeah, I'm going, that's uh, what I was just going to do. Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> go ahead and roll. I'm still rolling. Um, the Roman Catholic idea held by the High Anglican Church and also in the Eastern Orthodox tradition, that there's some kind of canonized saints is a ridiculous idea. It has no scriptural basis whatsoever. Absolutely none. There is nothing in the teaching of Jesus and the apostles that would substantiate that kind of a belief. And note, it's noteworthy that many of the people who the Roman Catholic Church have canonized have been murderers, have been moral degenerates, have been corrupt popes. It's unbelievable. Um, yeah, St. Bernard, responsible for the Children's Crusade, sending little boys in suicide attacks against the Muslims. Uh, he's a saint. Uh, Pope John Paul II, they canonized him. He's the patron saint of pedophiles because uh, he protected them. The whole thing is, is nonsense, complete nonsense. Those who are born again, who remain faithful to Jesus on the basis of Scripture, have been sanctified, have been set apart by the Lord. They are his saints, his holy ones. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. Blessings, dear friends. Greetings of Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, a, the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon, and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. First being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed in the faithful church. The rapture will not happen will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Parpezzo, Parpezzo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. 
So these three books, Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available in the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless, and Jesus be with you.